All right, thank you, Andy. Bath coach Doug Davis joining us, and his interview brought to you by Dominion. And uh, Aaron Matthews also over here, and we heard about the, that he lied to OG game, or LCC game you had the pleasure of calling last night. And Bath last night picked up a victory on the road against Columbus Grove. Yeah, and I thought it was a big win for, you know, for Bath coming in, and Grove has been playing some solid basketball. Doug, obviously, congratulations on the win. Draw you. today, you, go, you get the two seed. Not really a surprise there. Do you think it helps your guys getting that a little extra time off because you don't have to worry about a game on Tuesday on the 25th, even though it's still a couple weeks away? Yeah, the past years, you know, we've had that game uh, when it was a full tournament, full eight teams, and, and that was fine. But um, we're going to have to play a good team on Friday night, so we do get those days to prepare, and, and that's not all bad. You look at the matchup, either take on Salina or Wapkinetti. You've already played both of them this season. You guys beat Salina way back in December, which seems like that was just years ago. Had the win over Wapakoneta early in January. How much do teams change over the course of the season? How much does that make that difficult matchup coming up in the uh, the sectional for you? Well, teams do change, and uh, uh, Salina is going through some ups and downs, and and um, we haven't seen them. We don't uh, follow their tapes much throughout the year, so we haven't seen much of them since we played way back in December. So, uh, if it's Salina that we play, we're going to have to dig out the film and and watch them, and of course we'll get the advantage of uh, being able to watch them play in the first game where they don't have a game to watch us play. So um, it, there's a change, but uh, I think we'll be ready. You know, a year ago, you guys made such a great tournament run, Doug. You made it to the regional finals. You fell short to the eventual D2 state champion. But how about that experience and relying on that from a year ago that you guys had, you know, getting to go on a nice tournament run, and you got some big pieces back from that a year ago with Colin and Taryn? Yeah, the players that were part of that last year, it's definitely something they want to do again. They've talked about it all year. They'd like to make that tournament run again. And, and they understand that it's not going to come easy getting through this, what we're calling the WBL tournament, have to get through that. And then, uh, at least on paper, it looks like uh, probably a couple WBL teams matching up in the district final like we had last year. You know, it was packed there at Ohio Northern. Um, we play at Liberty Benton this year, but probably if it's two WBL teams, it'll be packed again. A lot of teams have got some as much as six, seven games yet to play this season. You guys still have your normal schedule. You haven't been too affected by the weather, just four games left. Do you, do you think that's going to put you guys maybe in a little bit better position than some of the other teams? Well, I hope it keeps us fresh. Uh, you know, Elitis picked one up. They're playing this week. Uh, you know, I don't know how that will affect them come Friday. Uh, we, we put one in the following week. We had to reschedule with Perry, but uh, um, I, I think it – you get too many games, might uh, wear on the legs a little bit, but I think we can stay fresh and ready to go. When you look at a day like today with having the tournament draw and getting together with the other coaches, obviously it's, it's, a, signif it's a signal of, well, here comes the fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's that time of year. We've uh, started talking about it in the locker room for the last couple of weeks that it's getting that time of the year. We've got crunch time in the WBL with the four teams tied for first place. And as soon as that's over, we're right on the tournament. So, yeah, it's that time of year, and, and we're starting to talk about it. All right, thank you very much, Doug Davis. Thank you for Dominion sponsoring this interview with the Bath head coach. As he mentioned, a four-way tie for first place in the Western Buckeye League.